Hi everyone, this is Jordana from Drink It In underscore Jordana in season 10, where I'm interviewing different couples that do Instagram together and social media. I am so, so honored, I can't say it enough, um, to have with me the Jewish family, right? The ideal Jewish family, if you might say that. I have Danny and Razel. Um, I am like, it was hard to contact them only because they are always traveling and they also have a newborn <laughs> and, you know, I never know what country they're in. We never know what country. And I think that gives all the excitement. So Danny and Razel, could you like introduce yourselves? Tell me a little bit like where you're really from <laughs> and how maybe all this got started, this idea of the traveling and so on and so forth. So start. All right, we're Danny and Razel. We're from that Jewish family. We have a social media channel across all platforms: Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, and, and Instagram. I said Instagram. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and we basically just show our life as it is: the Jewish religious family, Hasidic, and um, just show. Um, we show a side to Judaism, which is not defensive in any way, and we're just showing it as it is. We're not trying to water it down and say, look, we're normal. We're not trying to, you know, fit in. And I think that's that's a good starting point for people to be proud of their Judaism as is showing that you can just be yourself as a Yid, as a Jewish family in 2022, in 2023. <laughs> as it is, not trying to, you know, not trying to fit in, not trying to hide hide, hide how we look or, or how, how we how we connect to Hashem or any, anything. We just be ourselves. And that's, so that's our channel. Powerful. And then we don't live anywhere. We're nomadic. So we, <laughs> um, Danny is originally from Sweden, where we are right now, actually. And okay. from Australia. Which we, we just came from We there. just came. I just had, so I had, we just had a newborn, thank God. So it gave birth. I was next to my parents for that because we don't have a home. So. <laughs> and now we came here and to came show here my parents. The newborn. The newborn. And so. It was like the first start to hitting the road. We were like, you know, hit the road. We're going to first go to Danny's family. And uh, we travel every, we travel about once a month, a new country. So it's not too much in the kids. Cause... In 2022, we did 11 countries. Yeah. So about... Wow. Wow. Okay. So you ready? I need to ask something. How'd the two of you meet? I know, you know, I know a lot of people out there. There's uh, the setting up, the blind dating, for anyone who's listening who doesn't understand, in our Jewish terms, we call it the shidduch dating. Right. Did you know a, sh- a shidduch, I think in Hebrew, is really like a stapler? Oh, that's right? interesting. That's and, interesting. Yeah, yeah, modern day Hebrew, it's a stapler. So like to join the two together, like taking two papers and stapling them together. But um, <laughs> but how did the two of you meet? And then in which country? I'll, I'll be country? honest. I'll be honest. This is how we met. So we were both blindfolded <laughs> and we're putting it together. <laughs> and... When they took off the blinds, they said, you have 10 minutes to decide, yes or no. And uh... <laughs> and that did not happen. <laughs> <laughs> that did not happen. Okay, so let's get the real story. Um, so actually, our whole story of how we met is on our YouTube channel. But in short, our moms went to seminary together, like, how many years ago? 30, 20, however many years so, ago? Yeah, like 30 like years ago. 30 or whatever no, it was. No, 35 years ago, probably. And they've been friends ever since. And one day they were on the phone and they were kind of like, you know, speaking about how they're looking for the son and looking for the daughter. Because the shidduch system is generally the parents or friends find someone who works for you, compatible and matches you guys up. And you don't have to say yes. You could go out and see if you like the person. So they were like, I have a son. I have a daughter. They were like, what's he looking for? What's she looking for? Oh, my gosh. It took some time till we they actually should go went out. out. But it took time. It yeah. took two years till we actually went out. But that's how the idea started. Oh, that's how they did it. But it took two years until you actually went out because you're all in different countries. <laughs> so which I, country did you actually meet Danny, in? Danny's in Sweden. I was in New York. I and flew then... to New York to meet her. Okay. And... and we dated for the first date. And she said no. So I flew back. That did happen. Oh, no, Razel, you said no? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It did happen. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so so, so let's get let's get into that. Okay. <laughs> Okay, because now it's safe territory because you are married and you seem like the cutest couple. So let's talk about why did you say no, Razel, the why first time? Why did I say no? I think, I think I was, I was a little, um, 
I kind of went out like his name came up so many times that by the time it came everyone out suggested time, it everyone suggested everyone it to suggested me it. to her uh, besides for our perfect moms, idea like, for you guys of people suggested it and I was so done with hearing the name I was like fine I'll go out but like I don't think I really went out with like the mindset of like seeing if it would work I kind of went out mm-hmm. to go out and then home mm-hmm. and I was like oh my gosh I'm so done with this <laughs> so I just said no and then which isn't nice of me I'm, I'm sorry <laughs> and then I actually um I used to speak to my brother and sister-in-law a lot when I was dating and they were on a plane when this happened so when I came home and I said no and then they arrived and they were like Razor what did you just do <laughs> that is not nice <laughs> you have to give a guy a chance you can't just say no after meeting him once so, so, I, two weeks so I felt really guilty well it was two I, weeks. Yeah. Two weeks later. So then I called back up yeah. and I was like, if he's interested, I'll go out again. <laughs> he was already back in Sweden. Wow. So let me ask you, Danny, how'd you feel about that? Like two weeks later, like that shows, a, I mean, honestly, that shows an amazing uh, characteristic on your That's part. Like you amazing. didn't hold it. Well, it's after true. after those two weeks, we dated for about a month. No. Three what? weeks. Yeah. And then we got engaged. Oh, it gets worse. I get worse in the story. I just wanted to. Oh then no! Then he gets better, and I get worse. We got engaged, and then the engagement. Then she. she but it just... wasn't. I, we didn't tell anyone we're engaged. You proposed. Just our families yeah. knew. So it was. She proposed in Florida, and you then proposed. she went to. Yeah. I proposed. <laughs> she trained for Pesach. And, and I had like cold feet, and I freaked out, and I called Danny. I was like, "I'm so sorry. I'm this." Was... We're dating again. <laughs> we're not engaged. That oh, gosh. Okay, hard. Danny. I need to Very know. Hard. What was going through your mind? You like, were you like thinking like, what is up with this girl? No, I was, I was thinking, I, I felt like she was the right one. I have in to every say, way. lots of points. And... I don't know how, I don't know how he, did. I don't know. I'm very blessed. <laughs> no, I felt like she was the right one and I just, I just didn't give up on it. That's it. I just, very sweet. I looked at the bright side of it. I said, yeah, well, she was under pressure, I guess. And the situation. <laughs> I don't know what situation, but <laughs> and so, so what was it about her that you liked so much then, everything. Danny? That's what right. was it that you said you weren't going to give up on her? Everything. That's very sweet. <laughs> oh, I feel bad, but thank God. Give me your fa- your favorite thing, Danny. Your favorite thing about her. <laughs> uh, her charm. <laughs> okay. Your favorite thing. <laughs> and Reza, what's your smart. favorite thing about Danny? She is, she is very smart. Very smart. She's I have to pretty. say, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, Danny got lots of po- lots and lots of points during the dating. Everyone's like, Reza, he is gonna leave you. Like you can't keep playing him like this. But right. I'm very, I'm very blessed that he was very patient and understanding. Very understanding. It was just. I found yes. dating very daunting. I just found like the whole idea just very daunting. Like, you know, it's a lot. I want, you know, so we dated for another two months. So in total, we dated for three months. And by mm-hmm. the end of it, like, I just needed to be very, very, very calm about the idea. So by the end of it, I was very, very calm. And poor Danny had lots of palpitations in the in between. <laughs> <laughs> so, mm, but I think this is the deepest we went on this topic. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh! See that? See what Real I'm juicy conversation. It's, it's in our not as much. In not our, as much. Not as much. I I but curious now. So where was the wedding? In Australia. In Australia, yeah, by you in your home farm. Okay. That was beautiful. Her was mother really... pulled off a beautiful, beautiful setting. Yeah, it was. It was and, really uh, beautiful. She did it all herself. <laughs> the whole entire. Thing. Wow. Really... Well, so. So how long have you guys been married for now? About three and a half years. Three and a half years, yeah. Sure. Thank God. Three and a half yeah. years. And so, what made you? What made you think about doing this whole traveling? Stint. So I actually started in this room we're sitting now. If you scroll back on our YouTube channel to the first video, it's going to be the same background as this. The first, I wasn't there. It was before. before well, it's actually there. going to be this background, those books, <laughs> that corner, and this door like that. So wow. this is my parents. My parents' home. And, um, uh-huh. was before I met Razel, and I decided to start a, a video, a sicha of the Rebbe, the Lubavitcher okay. Rebbe, and gave weekly discourses, and um, very down to earth, very in in a very understandable way, and um, I made videos of the sicha in Swedish for the Swedish population, mm. and 
they were a hit. You know, they went very well. Baruch Hashem, I posted them and straight away 1,500 views. And I didn't even have a Facebook page. So I just used my parents' page. Oh, <laughs> you just I didn't have anything. Facebook. <laughs> I had no idea of social media whatsoever. I just posted on face on my mom's Facebook. <laughs> and then someone, my friend Natanel, said, you know, you should open a page. You should open a page. So I was like, really? Like, fine, I'll open the page. So I called it Espresso Parsha because I started with an espresso. Ah, cute. I love espresso. So every 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 video was in a location, and I tried to connect the location to what I'm speaking about. And I had what I said mm-hmm. with it. So we went to dramatic locations to film the videos, you know, and um, we went to Egypt. Wait, this is before you met. This me. is before I met Razel. And then so, when right. we got married, it turned into English. I started joining a little here, a little there, and we kept the travel element in the videos. We had a home. But we yeah. would travel from our home to different places. We lived in Israel. We lived in Jerusalem back then. Right. Mm-hmm. So we would travel around Israel. We, we went to, to Egypt. We went to Venice. By, but we had our base. And every video was on the topic mm-hmm. of the Parsha. So we spoke about Yosef being proud in Egypt. We went to Egypt. We spoke about Kazdam, mm-hmm. the Nilus. We went to Venice to show, you know, how the river. We were a little extreme. Yeah, but then... extreme. <laughs> right. Just a little. Just a little. We always had like this little traveling element in us. And then COVID hit and we were in, um, we eventually landed up in Australia for a big bulk of it for like 15 months and we got stuck. We still made videos every week. We didn't miss a week. And then in that time, by the end of the 15 months, we changed our channel. Like we changed the direction of our channel. We wanted it to be more broad for everyone for and the whole like, world for the whole world you wanted to reach the whole world and really um to show a jewish family to the entire world just you know a lot of things on netflix or or tv or news shows a very na- a certain narrative of jews and we realized like um that social media is the way to change it's, it. it's the way to change a narrative if we're just genuine real and authentic right. and we just show our life the basics it's a way to change a narrative and thank god we've seen tremendous success in that and we have beautiful comments and responses and messages and etc. But um, oh, so the end of the 15 months, we kind of changed our channel. It turns into that Jewish family. From actually and meeting our neighbors. It was, yeah, we bumped from, into our non-Jewish neighbors. And we were trying to explain to them, espresso, parsha, And they could parsha. not spell it. They were like, what? So we're like, you're yeah, trying to revive this. <laughs> so then we changed it. And we were so, we felt so, I mean, Australia was beautiful. And it was a really nice time there. And, and we lived on the beach. I'm and we lived beach. on the beach. But. Coming from like traveling the whole time to being stuck into like one place where we lived locked down where you couldn't go more than a few kilometers from your home. We were like, Woo, we're gonna go the opposite extreme. So we spent the next oh, we yeah. had to be back in Australia a year later for a visa. Like they gave us a date to come back. So we knew we had a full year and it kind of just we're like, We're not gonna settle anywhere, we're just gonna live this year and that's how the nomadic life started. And now it's continuing. The year's over and it's continuing. <laughs> Wow, that's so beautiful that, you know, you, it's so nice that the two of you are, are in sync. That's what's o- very obvious in sync in, in your passion to give over a message for the traveling, you know, you just on the same page. And that's really beautiful for everyone to see. And I think that comes across and I had left to raise a little message and I said, it's also the demeanor that both of you give over it, you, your approach is a peaceful approach. Thank you. Thank you. And, and it's received that way. And I think that's probably why you get all those beautiful comments Thanks. because you, you, you know, you don't, you don't have an agenda, you know, you, you're just want to show the world, the beauty Our agenda of a Jewish agenda family. is awareness. And then they can make their own judgment. You know, we had a comment on, right. on one of the videos. I've been anti-Semite on, up until now, but after watching this video, I can't be anti-Semitic anymore. And for a lot nice. of people, because a lot of, especially, especially in, 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 in communities where they're taught a lot about anti-Semitism and they it's really built with information. I really yeah. think a lot of anti-Semitism is really misinformation. It's just um, education. education. It's really education. It's how you're educated. And if we have this ability now to show, to show what it's really like, then people could get re-educated. We have a lot of and Muslims. And I think the travel example, element also, besides for it just being like part of our, you know, just like just what we do i think a big part of the travel element also um it gravitates people like it raises awareness yeah a lot of mm-hmm. people are like what they're nomadic like huh what is this and then it kind of you no know, it, it raises awareness to our to our to our mission of, of bringing the world together you know and showing the world how we live 
it's not always easy. I'm, we're not gonna, you know, it's not like butterflies in, but we really <laughs> believe in, we, we do love it and we really believe in, in, you know, our channel and what we're doing. So, and we feel like it's a big element to it. So now you, you, you opened up the door a little bit. You said it's not always so easy. You want to like maybe tell us some hard moments that you feel like you can share. What moments can you? <laughs> what moments? It's not easy, you know. Content creating can look like a walk in the park. Content creating is is full time. It's not. You're a content creator yourself, so I'm sure you you you're familiar with this. But it's it's, very, it's a lot of it's a lot of work. A lot of people go, oh, it's just a video. How much I go behind it? There's so many hours and work that goes with in every single video, and even in the travel element. You know, we travel with two kids, which is a lot of fun, and we feel like it's it's a real opportunity, but that's not a walk in the park all the time. <laughs> even though, even though we love but it, but we love it. Yeah. It's not, it's not a contradiction, you know. It's about balancing. But um, yeah, it's very easy to look and be like, oh, it's so smooth. But there's so many hours and time and effort and energy and stuff. Oh, so we did this without money. We like started yeah, like, this without any money, without a penny. <laughs> Some people are like, how do you afford to travel? Like we really started this with like on the on the zero, but um, and we just we just you know we believed in it. And we didn't. We we eliminated one word. We made a pact with each other. We said the word "practical" is <laughs> going to be deleted from our vocabulary because if the word "practical" comes into our life the whole time, then we can't. We're not. We, we're, we're not doing anything. Like the it wouldn't. It wouldn't. We wouldn't. Because, because this, what, what we're, we're doing, doing is not practical. You know? <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's definitely not the the you know the easiest way to live is not what we're doing. Um, <laughs> It's definitely a joy and fun and, you know, but it's definitely not practical. So <laughs> we're also very last minute and we're very spontaneous and that's also not practical. You know, you can plan in advance a month in advance, but then you eliminate so many other options and other opportunities that we, we get to do. And most of the things we did is because we're not practical. So I think this channel exists in this way it does, thank God, because we're not practical. We're not practical. Well, Rachel, were you always not practical or you became more spontaneous once you I married was Danny. Spontaneous. <laughs> like <laughs> I would get nervous if I had a plan for like two weeks in advance because like what if something else comes up on that date two weeks later and I've locked something in? Like I was always like, you know, like the extreme opposite. I mean <laughs> I was always spontaneous also. So. My tickets were always booked the night, like a week before, a few days before my you know, um I would just jump on opportunities like when it came or whatever. I don't know how much my work liked me because I'd be like, hi, can I leave tomorrow for a week? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so I could hear that the both of you were already spontaneous, not practical. But like Danny, you had said that part of doing this content creation and, and the consistency and, and making the videos is a lot behind it. So there has to be there some a, planning involved. There is a plan. Practical meaning like, let's be practical. Let's not do this. Be, it's easier yeah. for this. It's easier for that. Let's just keep it with, this. Let's live in a home. Let's, Let's live in a home. <laughs> Let's keep it with one video a week. Let's keep it with, you know, we do a video every day. Well, on average. We we do stories every day, like 10 of them every day. We have lots of footage right. that are piled up waiting to be, you know, and lots of Be'ezrat Hashem big dreams in the future. We went full force because it's not practical. Because it's just totally or even half our travels were totally not. They didn't make sense, but we did it anyway. I think the biggest practical but... thing is that we don't, we didn't, you know, we didn't start with a job on the side. And I don't think our channel would be anywhere as it is today if we would have had a job on the side, because mm, because yeah. then we couldn't have given ourselves. In the beginning, the a lot of people are like, "What are you doing?" When we're still trying to like figure out exactly how you know our channel is going to be and the direction, and a lot of people are like, "What are you doing? Do something on the side, and then do this." A little bit, and we were so driven with this dream. We're like, if we take something on the side, just for even one moment, the we, we just want to be like totally be focused on this. And that was very not practical, mm. but, <laughs> but I think that's where I the think, reward came. Yeah. Can I, can I ask a question in reference to the kids? Because I, you know, when you're saying that you traveled for a whole year here, there, I'm going to ask a question. I don't know if it, you know, I'm not trying to uh, like no. jinx anything. What happens if one of the kids gets sick? Like doctor wise, what do you do? Do we go to doctors in different places? I mean, I was pregnant for a vast majority of the traveling um, last year. We keep it to the Western and countries. Yeah, we didn't. We okay, I hear what you're saying. We didn't go mm -hmm. to like third world countries, just especially when I was pregnant. But we're going to go to Africa. We needed to have, yeah. we needed to have, um, you know, in case right. medical in case. right there. Um, but we did yeah, go to the Mexico. Kids go to... Mexico, you went yeah, to. but that's fine. I went to a point. 
there. <laughs> no, it's also very close. It's very close to home, you know. But close to Florida. We were going to go, I don't know, a few places that we didn't go because of medical reasons, just because I was pregnant at the time. But for the kids, I don't know. We just, wherever we go, there's there's always something if they need it, you know. Everyone sure. in the world pretty much lives with doctors around. You just get, yeah. It's like any travel. It's like I any don't... travel. Yeah, but I'm just saying because you're doing it on a constant basis, so that's annoying. all. There's not like one specific doctor that knows your kid or one specific doctor that knows your pregnancy. That that could be a bit annoying. Right. That's what I'm that saying. That could right. get a bit annoying. Like they, they don't have to re-meet your child every time and see what they're up to and they don't right. know like the full, you know, or re-meet like a pregnant woman every time and <laughs> the explanation every single time. But um, on a medical sense, it's fine. It's just not practical, but it's fine. <laughs> Uh, right not practical we're not going to be practical also like how do you do with the medical insurance is there like a traveling medical insurance that you use like most people do when they travel on vacation or something something like so that some countries well danny's european so any european country danny's covered because he's and australia has a lot of reciprocal agreements with many countries like now if we'll go to africa we'll get insurance but yeah, yeah if there's a country we don't have insurance just we'll find just online you know free buy before we travel Okay. Now, is it is it a surprise to know, or a secret to know what's the next stop after? No, Sweden? not at all. We're actually, we're actually in the middle of trying to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> do, do you leave it up to the audience ever, like the viewers, like ask them where should we go next? Um, like we've once. done it like once in the past, once or twice. We did it when we left Israel once, right. I think, and we did it one other time when. But it would be fun. We could do that. It would be fun to do it. Yeah, just well, New York. New York it's a table now because the Knesset of Shluchis is happening. So um, we we might join for that. So if we go to New York, then. Oh, oh yeah. okay. Maybe we'll get to be, see you. So, <laughs> so that that mm -hmm. um, that would be the reason to go to New York. I mean, we were just there, um, but we might go for, that and then take it from there, taking it from here. That makes sense. <laughs> So, so as as a couple going through this process, has there been anything new that you learned about each other through this process? Like, oh, I didn't know that about you, Danny. Or Danny's like, oh, Razel, I didn't know that about you. What you well, Razel's very capable, oh, and she can sweet. learn anything overnight. And that's if she's very sweet. determined, whatever she wants done, <laughs> she gets done. And she gets done. Mm -hmm. She can. She'll do all nighter and just get it done. So there's Danny who does the exact same thing. So. <laughs> Razor learned how to edit like this in one night. She just learned how to edit Adobe Premiere Pro, which is like very hard to edit. Whoever edits, you'll know how hard it is. And um, she's very determined, and she won't she won't let it down. That's very sweet. So that I that I learned through through the process, and she's fun to work with. Oh, thank you. <laughs> And how about you? What did you learn about Danny, Razel? I, I just, this. it sounds funny, but I could see the same. Danny's extremely, extremely determined. So I think I definitely learned that determination, especially in the beginning. Danny was very much more into the channel than I was. Full, full cards out. <laughs> in the, I was like, you could do this. Like, especially when we were dating. I was like, you go ahead. You make your videos. I'm not part of it. <laughs> and even by the, like, you know. But I never respect. asked her. So I made it I made it a thing never ne to yeah. ask her never to be asked. part of it. And then. When if I, she wants, she'll just join herself because I don't want it to be like, I'm thinking back, you know, oh, did I have to join? Did I not have to that join? That's true. So it really came from her in a real that way. That is very true. And then, oh. that's a very good point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's true. That is very important, Danny, because you do, this way when she comes to it, it's, it's love. Because it's hard. And that no, she very much wants to do it. It's so it hard twice. because it's so hard. And I know something so hard, you know. Well, it's very public. It's fun fact. Yeah. I was very shy. I would I would never take pictures. I would like I was never in front of the camera. Um, so it took mm. a lot of time to get over that. But so in the beginning, mm. I was very much like you do that, and then you do you. I'm not going to be really part of it. And then I also questioned in the beginning. I was like, maybe we should do something else on the side. Like I know these videos are nice and important, but I didn't fully see the direction and the goal yet. So I was like, maybe something on the side, and then um. And then what happened? And then I, I really learned how determined Danny was and like driven. And when he has a goal, he has a goal. And in such a beautiful way. Like, and the videos were fun. So you enjoyed fun. it. <laughs> <laughs> but I never, like, that, that was amazing to see that. 
like how determined and look like look where it's taken us was your determination at the beginning wow. which is really beautiful and how do your families feel about it like what what are they are they like are you guys crazy or why do you have to put yourself out there like what is their impression of it i all? think they love it yeah my parents definitely my mom definitely is like guys get a home, <laughs> <laughs> get a home. <laughs> in a good way they can't they love us they Right. Yeah. You're crazy. You have two kids and traveling. Like that's nuts. <laughs> it is nuts. Um, I think so, they understand. I think they yeah. understand where and what and the importance of it. I think also in the beginning when we started making videos, it was very not common in the Jewish world. Like thank right. God, which there should be, and it should be doubled and tripled and fifty quadruple. times, quadrupled, a hundred times the amount of Jewish creators that are starting to come out. But when we started, when we there started, was like Melinda Strauss. That's it. I, like she and she was a cook. Like yeah. I don't, there wasn't really anything, you know, on this level. No, she so, was much more than a cook back then. She was a full chef. Yeah, or maybe I maybe I don't could be I don't know, but um I just remember her recipes. But she's amazing. Right. Um, no, we I, love I, I, hear, I think, but yeah. in the beginning, especially, it was very new in the Jewish world, and I think uh, a lot of people were like, "What are you guys doing? Like, there is no future to this." And we're like, "You'll see, there is, there is, there is." Yeah. Yeah, the thing is, there's so many videos you make and making a video that doesn't do well and having the knowledge and the courage to do the same thing tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day when the mm -hmm. channel is just like this plateau for literally two years. Yeah, it took about two years. Mm -hmm. And then not giving up. I think that's that's where a lot of people fall short. You know, business. Mm. So many entrepreneurs start businesses and then they fail and fail and fail and fail. And then they say, okay, fine. It's not for me. And the, well, the took, success comes, yeah. one in 10 is a success. Well, it took two years for us to realize like our direction. The beginning with these parasha videos, which were beautiful. And we want to somehow bring them back in some sort because we were watching some the other day and they were like, they were great, <laughs> you know? But um, right. we, the at that, after the two year point, we were on, we were very static. And then the second we like kind of launched, understood where our direction, direction would be is. in 10 months we like blew up 300,000 followers so I think it's like and we don't just call it followers like it's a, it Family really members. is our online community we yeah in to, one year it was over yeah. 315,000 followers from, from like being 10. static for two years with 5,000 so I think no, well, well on, on Facebook there was oh, that was, you're right 10 so 15,000 but um I think I had this come up I forgot you said about you, the family, and how uh, their views of things. But, yeah, I, I think, but I think what you're saying is like, you know, sticking sticking, sticking to, to it. it and being because consistent. And then you, you'd and be outside amazed. It looks, it looks back then, you know, and sees so doing mm -hmm. this video, and it just got 300 views. And the next week, it gets 100 views. And the next week, 300 views, 100 views. Like, we what's had, your plan um, for life? We also, no, what were you going to say? No, so you just have to, you have to believe in it. But All that being said, we had lots of family support. That being said, we did have a family yeah. support. And like, well, we never said no. Well, yeah. No, but, <laughs> <laughs> no, but there was. What do you guys I, think? No, there was. There, there was, was people there. Was there were questioning. People, like, questioning, like, guys, get a job. Get, get a, a job. You know, normal. Right. Um, but we also had, like, a lot of, like, you guys have got this. This is incredible. You're, you know. Yeah, that was the there majority. Was, there's a future. Um, but it's very yeah. cool to see. Like, we were looking at, we have a presentation for our channel. And which we made a year ago. And at that point, um, how many followers we did put we have? We put the goal. We made the goal. We had, we had. I don't know what we had at that time, but we made the goal by the end of the year, we by the like end 50, of 2022, followers. to have 100,000 followers. No, 50,000. 50,000 followers. Total, throughout the platform. Was it? I think we did 100. So oh, we did 100. 100 yeah. At the end of the year, it should be 100. And that was like our goal for the 20. So we had 50,000 then, and our goal was 100 something like that double. and Danny showed it to someone and he like kind of laughed in his face and was like ha you're not getting that and then we were just going over the presentation a couple of weeks ago we totally forgot about it and then we're like oh my gosh it's three times the goal like thank god wow. yeah wow. Out of 100, 100, which is like you know I think and that also it comes from a lot of positive encouragement from the people around it's nice to say that yeah a lot of positive encouragement from our friends and family and also like, everyone messaging us you know all these messages really keep us keep us going because um, we're not around people so much so the only people we meet sounds we're around so, random yeah. like new people all new the time, people all you know we're so not necessarily around a community once community. our community is the online community in a way. right right i always i always try to tell people that feedback is so important you know i i 
because it really juices the the creator more and, and also it, it helps guide us in what direction to go in you know if there's something that went well and you enjoyed listening to that you know we will try to do something more of like that and if there's something that I, wasn't as well received then maybe that will guide us to steer away from that a little bit so they you know they it really helps as to gauge things and i i don't know i mean maybe there are people that understand that or or maybe they're shy to put the feedback but i think people understood how much Im- importance it is we probably um get more and more and more and realize it. Do you, do you agree with what I'm saying? Also the content people need to create is based on their feedback. So if people aren't interested in, if you make a video about something, you know, it's not always, you know, try resilient in the same direction. You just got to maneuver and learn from the feedback people do in the comments. And based on that, you make your videos. Definitely helps us a lot. And a lot, especially the feedback that was just, hi, how are you just popping in to say how much, you know, this changed my thought on this or whatever it is. It means a lot. Yeah, we get those messages every day. So this and is our this lot. is our life, like mm. completely. We're totally devoted to this. So it really means a lot when we have that positive yes. positive. Right. So now I wanna ask a question about the two of you. Um when <laughs> this is a question I've asked all the couples and, and I've I've gleaned so much as a as a human being from it. So I'm sure the listeners will too. You know, when couples get married, sometimes or most of the time, we take on new traditions as a couple. We say, oh, we're going to do this together. We want to, or maybe it was a tradition that they brought from their home and they're introducing it to their spouse. Oh, let's do this. Have you had any like traditions or a tradition that you've incorporated into your home and you said, this is going to be something we do together? Hmm. It's a very good question. (laughs) Jewish wise? It could be anything. Like I'll tell you for my, I'll tell you a cute one. My parents, when they first got married, they wanted to have something that they do together. So they both took up tennis and they wanted to play tennis together as a couple. They just felt like they needed that time together, something that the two of them do together. So they did tennis. Uh, Another, I'll tell you another couple mentioned on the video, which I thought was so beautiful. They said they have a rule that if let's say somebody wants to go to the zoo on the, call it Sunday fun day, but the other one doesn't want to go to the zoo. They just can't say, Oh, I don't want to go. No, you have to give an alternate option. You can't just knock out somebody's yeah. idea, but you have to give an alternative, right. which is like focusing always on Other- the solution, yeah. right? So, what's something that we could have taken that we brought in together for our family? Taken from like your personal. Well, we speak. Taken? I speak Yiddish to Mendel, and that that comes from my home. And, okay. Ra- okay. and Rachel <laughs> speaks to Mendel a lot well, in Yiddish Yiddish as well. On a deeper, um, I think we've taken a lot of family values from our prospective families and brought it into our home. Yeah. Like a lot of family um, time, the family's very into that. I think we have a very, un, what's the word? Um, I'm trying to think of the word. Because our lifestyle is so untraditional. <laughs> like right. pinpoint one thing that we took from one home or the other because we haven't yet even like built our Establish established your own, so to speak. Your own, right. I hear that. I think it's more of a lifestyle, but um. Oh, mental wake up! Hi, gorgeous. <laughs> but I think um, or different things. Maybe it's not necessarily from. Sorry, one moment. Come, darling. Hi. <laughs> what is it? Come. I think one thing that we're very careful as a couple and as a family is um. Uh, hi, my love is family time and focusing on our kids, especially in our travel element. Um, a lot of the travel is focusing on our children. And if there's like nitty gritties that need to happen, like running to catch a plane or trying to catch the bus or trying to rent a car. And we try and make, we always make sure that the kids like, oh, Mendel, because Mendel. Lev is a newborn, but that Mendel understands that this is a step to something that he'd appreciate as well. And I think focus mm. now, like, and also at the same time, not we, we don't need to do everything in the countries we visit. You know, if it's not good for Mendel, not good for the kids. I just, think it's a big focus. Just skip whatever. You know, you just build build the day around them in a big way. Mm-hmm. And I had a comment who was like, "We once said this," and someone's like, "Isn't that going to make the kid narcissistic?" But I totally do not think so. I think a child to this age, like, yeah. love and they're you know that's what they need at this age. They need their parents 
attention and the parents love and knowing that their parents are looking after them and they're not just concerned about like the details of like adult life but that details of the adult life is for them so if we're like renting a car we'll like explain to mental we're just getting a car so that we could go and go Trips on a trip and or go go and, you know everything so that's a big focus that you we shouldn't have. feel like we're focusing on other things besides his life i think that's like a family act that we have yeah, is making sure the kids feel i mean right now it's mental but please god and when love is Lev. older um and that they're right. always the number one they feel first right that's that's beautiful that's beautiful i, I agree with you 100 i remember one time somebody said you're showing too much love to your child you're going to spoil them i'm like what <laughs> No, 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 no. I don't know if you know about parenting then. <laughs> you know, there's no such thing as spoiling your children with love. You're right. There's no such thing. Love, love, love. A hundred percent. Some people. Whenever they the tantrum, right. it's, it's, they just want more attention. Everyone. Adults want attention. Adults want love. Like yeah. children yes. are mini adults, you know. Adults. Right. A hundred percent. Thank God we both oh, respectively had that from our families and we're bringing love it into our own family. But if adults have the need to find a partner and find a spouse and be loved and then children do too and there's no such thing as too much love in a relationship there's no such thing as too much love for a child from a parent like exactly, exactly. and exactly. can get caught up on you know going to a place you want to go to this city and that city and this city and you know you want to make we went to 18 countries together right Baruch Hashem. Mm -hmm. with a kid mm -hmm. we, we could be like okay let's get the 19th country you know but with a kid mm -hmm. we just have to put him pause. first pause Let's be here for a month. Let's make this okay for him, you know? Or like, we won't go mm -hmm. to the volcano. We won't go on the, you know? Okay. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So the, I have a funny question for you, a cute question. Um, when you think about, I don't know how, how connected you are to music or so on and so forth. If you would think about a song or a movie or a book, what do you think, which song or book would describe you guys as a mm. couple or your life? Mm. That is a very good question. <laughs> yeah, it's creative, right? Very <laughs> creative. A song, a music, or a book that would describe our life. Ooh. One moment. A song or book. One? Yeah, come on. Can you think of anything? A song or book or movie? Well, I don't have, I love books, but I don't have much attention for them. So I don't think I've, <laughs> I always read the last page first. So I'll take the. <laughs> I think we can find the song. A song. What's a song? Oh, my mind has gone completely blank. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. That's Maybe fine. there's a song that, that that you guys like so much of some sort that you know it's constant in your home. Well, right now our constant at home is what the kids like. To be totally honest, <laughs> <laughs> we have Alafis rolling in the car twenty four seven, and and he the loves rubber. the and <laughs> Oh, no, no, Uncle Maishi. Pizza song. The pizza, the pizza song. song. We do have that coming out of our ears. <laughs> okay, the pizza song. Okay, so the pizza song. Okay, that's good. But you know what? I love that. Should I tell you why I love that, Razel and Danny? Because that's true to what you just said before. You said your focus is the children. And so that makes a lot of sense that a song that you would pick that represents you is something that represents it's your children. Not, it doesn't it's represent not the us. Song, yeah? <laughs> it just means we need more date nights. <laughs> okay, there you go. You heard that, Danny? She needs more date nights. <laughs> that's a good that's a good question. What do you do when you travel and you, you're not part of a community? How do you get babysitters? Um we no we so find where we are. Many times we've been by communities and we get babysitters. But we, we have to be very careful who and what and why right. we don't really do that. Not as so often. But a lot of client times when there's a community, which is really nice, we find babysitters. Um when did we ever New York? Babysitters. But that's not I'm saying that's that's not even like a travel destination for us. It's yeah. just like a base that we just come. <laughs> I'm trying to a lot of well, places. Do you guys have like a dream vacation? If the two of you could just go away together without the children, well, where would you like to go? <laughs> you know what? No, without the kids. You're saying not oh, without the kids. Yeah, not as like a. It was just the two of you, so you could have some quiet where time. Where would you go? Oh, I want to go to Morocco, but that I could do with kids. That we could do with kids. I could do with kids. Forget that. I would do. Where about your roof? You wanted to do? No, I've done that. I could do it for you because I know you'd love right. it, but. Something new. The Maldives. Yeah, it's the very Maldives pretty. But I feel like everyone. Yeah. It's similar to what we've done. 
I would totally, but as a, as a like justification between the two of us, I would do it still because it's a very totally. adult vacation. Like some, okay. like an island. I would totally do an island. If it was just us. Okay. with the family can kind of be the fun, the fun stuff. I would right. do like a chill island of some sort. Mm. You have any? Mm. She's, she's, she's already starting to think about it, Danny. Do you see? She's like, mm. <laughs> but, but to wrap it up, is there anything that maybe I didn't ask and that you want to share like a last, a lasting thought or something that you would like to just share to the people that are listening? So, uh, if I may say, whoever is starting out on social media, whoever is a, you're, you're directing to couples on social media. Is that what your channel is about? I bet, well, this season is about couples. Every This is my 10th season. Every season I do a different topic, whatever seems to resonate with me at that moment. Uh, you know, and I just, something about it, just seeing all the different couples, I guess I'm a single mom. So I guess when I saw couples working together, living together, and they, right. and of course it's Instagram and everybody looks so harmonious. I really wanted to get to the heart of it. So far, everybody that I've actually interviewed are truly harmonious. And it to me, it's very inspirational. And, and, and a beautiful feeling inside, especially coming as a single mom. Yeah, so, you right. know, the world could be so... Mm. A lot of, yeah, a lot of respect. A lot of kudos to you. I, I think yeah. the number one with also if someone wants to work with their spouse, it's exactly what you said. You have to be in harmony with the idea because then you're in trouble. You know, you both have to have the same love and passion because if one has the passion and one is just doing it because they're needed as a job to do it and they're needed to assist, then no. I don't know how that's going to work yeah, out. You can't, you can't work <laughs> together because you need to practically work together. You, have to you need to work together. You guys are yeah. so excited and ambitious. and About and the dream that you have together. together. And then you also have to make sure you have time of the working together and then a time where it's just a turn off the work for a moment and, you know, you're always a couple and you're always... You know, even no, within the work. <laughs> <laughs> that too. That too. That too. You, you, have, to have, you have to give some space. You have to give some space. No, that too. It's really important. Um, so between that and also like turning off the work and being like, you're just, you're a couple right now without that work involved as well is also super important. Yeah, there is that moment. There is that moment. Hopefully we do it more often. But when we just turn off the cameras and say no phone time now, and we're just yeah. there, present, Shabbos mode. That's a right, Shabbos mode. <laughs> like the Shabbos mode on the oven in the refrigerator. Shabbos mode. <laughs> Shabbos is our favorite time, I have to say. <laughs> Not our favorite time, but like it's very well, it important. Is. Because really we can important. just be there with, with the kids for real. We can just be there with, with each, each other, other for real, real without, without working the whole time. Yeah. Not, that it's, not that it's fake. Well. Not that the videos are fake or anything. We, our goal no. is just to be ourselves on camera. And Baruch Hashem, I think, I think, I think, I think we're, we're doing that, you know? We're eliminating yes. the concept of social media being this fake platform. You know, so many people, you talk to them on social media, oh, I hate social media. People are so fake. You know, so we're trying to be that, you know, that opposite genuine. of that, that genuine channel. Yeah, like we're, we're just being. Being. <laughs> right. Just being. I love that. I love that. If somebody wanted to contact you guys, what's the best way for them to reach you? You're on so many different platforms. Is there a certain way to contact email, you? Email, email, email. Well, we get about 150 messages a day on Instagram. So there's a very wow. small chance that we see the messages. Yes, I, 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 ca I caught on to that. <laughs> I'm so, sorry. So, see, sorry. It, it's okay. It's okay. We went through another I'm route. It worked. Our, um, so, <laughs> sorry, Rachel was going. Oh. And so, so email is the best way to reach email, you. Yeah. So you want to just tell everyone what your email is, what? and then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Danny at that Jewish family dot com. If you. Okay. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much. I know she had to go. Razor just no, went. Coming back I, if you need. I'm saying. Oh yeah, I just want to say goodbye. That was it. And Noah, you know, and I just want to thank you for your time. Thank and I know this you. was thank difficult. Thank you, Dizana. It was really nice Madrina, to meet you. Madrina, I just want to say for the people watching, whoever's starting yes. as, as a couple, there is nothing like the power of sharing your life. You know, it can really inspire people and it can really change people's lives. You never know what people go through. And the vast majority of the world, they have a very different view. If you're, if we're, we're, we're religious Jews, right? So for us, sharing our life is, is, is just giving, giving the biggest school of education for so many millions of people. We have like 20 million views every month across the platforms. And that's so many people learning for the first time how we live as Jews. And whoever 
is out there, you know, thinking to start a channel together with their family, do it. Just even do alone. it. Or even alone. <laughs> Just do it. You never know where it might take you. And it's, it's such an important thing to, 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 to make a voice out in this world and really give and show your authentic self and never give up. Mm. Thank you. Thank you for those words of inspiration. <laughs> thank you, Razel. Thank you, Danny. And thank you, that Jewish family. Thank you. Have a great rest thank of the you. day. Thank Have you. Have a great day. Thank you.